none of the nurses wanted anything to do with anyone with AIDS. That made me crazy. Because I was gay and therefore safe, at least at first, but not from seeing old friends die. So, I volunteered for the new AIDS ward and in about two minutes flat, I realized that professional standards did not apply. I just had to cry and help these people die. They needed hugs and common decency much more than some invasive test which might prolong their lives for 20 minutes more at best. I stood it for a couple of years until my, well, it ran dry of tears. The day before my leave was due, a pregnant woman, crazed on crack, had to be restrained. While I was giving her an injection, her hand got loose. I pricked myself with her infection. I found my way back to my ward by quite a different road. But now, many like me helped with the load of details and boredom that dying holds in store, and I was very proud to be back in that place once more. Sometimes we make a difference by doing what we must and leave some small impression on life's enduring dust. <laughs>